Hello there, back again. Uh, Megatron. King Pig is Megatron. He's he's kind of cool. So we got the the back of the tank, the side of the tank, the front of the tank, and uh, Megatron's twisty turning head. Uh, we got the tank turret. Uh, if you want it to do so, it can turn left to right. Uh, yeah, it looks, uh, take mode looks decent, uh, yeah, uh, so some of these in inaccuracies on the design, uh, as a whole, were just kind of necessary for the transformation or, like, uh, the designs for the, the alternate mode. Whether that be the alt, uh, the tank mode or the robot mode. Um, so yeah. I mean, still in the game, he still has two turrets. One here, and I think you already know, right here. So. Yeah, if you look at the game design, the tank mode, how he transforms, he has two different turrets. And in robot mode, he has this on his back. The, another turret. Shoulder pads still here, which shoulder pads should have changed to go over here, but whatever, that's just, God, just kind of not going to do that, because I said I wanted my designs to be uh, simplistic and uh, and easy, even though this one has the most steps so far. But still, I think he's a pretty simplistic design. Uh, not 100% accurate, but it's okay. So let's just get into the transformation. Let's see here. Uh, how about an underside view real quick? All right, now let's get to the transformation. Then this round of the ball joints, just leave it like that. Uh, then fold the treads outward, then down. Uh, fold this all the way up. These tiny details. Get him standing. Push that piece down, which will become the chest plate. Fold the arms down. Now the tank, uh, the gun arm, fold it down. Rotate it, and then rotate this part. And then since I already rotated this around, we need to fold these sections back. Put it on his chest. And, uh, overlap these, uh, top treads onto his back. Doesn't really hold it in place, but it kind of sits there. Keeps a little bit extra. Gives a little bit of extra, like, uh, I guess strength to stay in that position. But, yeah. Then you just rotate the head around. Uh, I just got two more steps. Fold his, uh, those pieces down so they can become like toes. And then there's sections in his thighs, I guess you could say, that also fold down to become his other toes. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Angry Birds, Transformers, King Pig as Galvatron. I mean Megatron. It's Megatron, not Galvatron. A few details you might notice that are kind of wrong at first are that uh, his gun arm isn't completely accurate. Uh, whatever, what am I supposed to do about that? It's a pretty weird design. You can't do it at Lego this scale. His backpack, you know, so by the way, kind of has a hunchback. I guess that's kind of a success. It's supposed to be a hunchback. But uh, yeah, not in this sense. Oh. Oh, okay. It's normal for the head to pop off. It's literally on one connection joint. But, anyways, connection point, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you look on the model, uh, the tank turrets on his back, so are the treads. Uh, you got the other set of treads on his feet. The heel spur, also supposed to represent a second set of treads. And, uh, yeah, his head. That's kind of the elephant in the room. His head shouldn't be like at his shoulders. 
it should be a little bit down. Um, it's kind of a way to do it. Take his head up. Take his head off with that uh, chest piece up, and then use this uh, back stud. Put it on here, and uh, you could do something like that. But uh, it looks kind of ugly, unless it's from this angle. It looks kind of good. But it also means he's shorter than like Optimus, which he already gets in the game. But I like Op uh, Megatron to be uh, the same size or um, taller than Optimus. Like no matter what, uh, no matter what kind of new continuity it is. So I don't really like to have it like this because yeah, articulation. His head can go three sixty. Uh, his legs can go forward that far, back that far, yeah, and then we just gotta, yeah, it's, yeah, okay, I guess he doesn't, he technically does have a full knee bend, but it's just kind of hindered, also, if you want his legs to kick up further, just move his chest plate up. So really it can kick out uh, that far, but you know the chest gets in the way. And you should look at the gun arm, you got an elbow joint, uh, elbow swivel. So uh, yeah, and then uh, you also got a bicep swivel. And uh, yeah, that's uh, backwards knee knee. I mean elbow joint. Uh, I don't know why you'd want that, but it's there if you want it. And, uh, yeah, that's all the articulation for Megatron. So, yeah. That's all you're really going to get out of him, for uh, articulation-wise. Another reason for uh, the head not to be on his chest is because of in tank mode. His head would just be, like, too low, and I couldn't figure out a way to, like, you know, make it, like, rotate around to make it, like, where the head's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's another reason why. Megatron pose. Looks kind of ugly, but Megatron pose. Here's some scale. More scale. And I guess just another thing I missed in this mode. His head, like this. This is his neck joint. Uh... He can go that far before falling off. So, yeah. Almost forgot to put him next to his model. Then here he is again next to his model. Alright, this episode is a bit longer, but whatever. See you next time.